fallen short We've wandered far from your ways Forgive us, O oh Lord We've sinned against your name Hello, it's great to have you join us today here at St. David's. The people of Ukraine are in our hearts, in our thoughts and in our prayers. And as a church, to show our solidarity to the people of Ukraine, we have put up the bunting in their colours. The title of our opening song was Song of Repentance. 
Today we'll be exploring this somewhat difficult topic, using the gospel and music as our guide. Here is today's collect. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the Gospel today is read to us by Jeff. A reading from Luke. Now there were some present at that time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with his sacrifices. Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Or those 18 who died when the tower in Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, for three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. The first part of that passage talks about two events that would have been well known to his audience. Firstly, the massacre of some Galilean pilgrims in Jerusalem and the tower that fell, killing 18 people. Jesus uses these events to illustrate how fragile life is and how we shouldn't delay in making things right with God. In the second part, the parable of the fig tree, Jesus is reassuring us of our second chance and prompting us to use that chance to be productive in our faith. In our next film, called Unleashed, Di Woolridge calls us to step up and step out in our faith. How would we look and be if we actually believed that Christ Almighty rescued you and liberated me? What would be our reality? If we fully realised that he's changed our eternal destiny, that what was our verdict no longer has to be, that though the fall brought catastrophe, Christ Jesus paid our penalty, his resurrection set us free from the curse of sin. And so he brings us in to love, forgiveness, acceptance and community. He adopts us into his family. How would we look and be if we recognise with clarity that though Christ ascended, his spirit now lives and dwells in me. And if you've chosen Jesus, he lives in you too. It's true. But he didn't fill us with his spirit to stay in the upper room. He fills us to step up and step out, to rise up and reach out, to plead for the needs of the down and out, to pray to the one who radically makes the change that counts, to be gospel participators, not just pacifists. Together we pitch in, get stuck in, to see his kingdom enter in, to pray for freedom where there is none, to be on the front line to see his will be done, to bring hope to the hopeless, to bring light where there's darkness, 
To see freedom from addictions, to believe in healing from afflictions, to ask the broken people make believe the decisions. May we see his power unleashed, his ministry unleashed. May we see the grip of sin, the shackles released. And may the church be unleashed to be his hands and his feet, together unleashed, in the pews and pulpits, but also on the streets. Not just the places, on the strategic planning sheets, everywhere unleashed, to see bearers of burdens of baggage set free, to see his gospel radically impact our community. But not in our strength, his. Not our will, his. Not our spirit, his spirit, Holy Spirit. The one who intercedes for us. The one who lives and dwells in us. For your glory, God. Fill us. With those powerful words from Di Woolwich, still fresh with us, let us now make our confession to God and ask his forgiveness when we haven't used our second chances to the full. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, and we've not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive us. Help us to amend our lives that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself and forgives the sins of all who truly repent, pardon and deliver us from all our sins and grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join with us now to say the baptismal creed. Do you believe in God the Father, the Creator of all? I believe and trust in God the Father. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world? I believe and trust in God the Son. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life? I believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Maureen will now lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to draw near to you in this time of prayer, that we may worship you with all our hearts, with all our minds and with all our strength, and that we may love and serve our neighbours in everything we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. A prayer for the Ukraine. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for your precious children at risk and in fear, that you will hold and protect them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, let justice and peace embrace our lands. Let love and security replace violence and pain. Let hands raised in anger and hands ready to strike become hands of peace. We dream of a time when fear becomes faith, when love and respect walk side by side, when all people see the world as if through your eyes, 
and recognize each other as God's own children. We pray for a time when the weapons of destruction and the desire for power become dreams of justice, equality and freedom, and that these dreams become reality. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, we pray for Christians everywhere, for those in positions of authority over others, and for those with great responsibility in the life of the world, for politicians who are genuinely seeking to serve God and live by their faith in Christ, for those who take their faith into the boardrooms of industry, for those who still live for Christ in corridors of power, and those who name his name in the face of ridicule and rejection. May they know the strength and humility of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring to you someone whom we remember today and for whom we want to pray. We bring to you someone who is hurting today and needs our prayer. We bring to you the troubled situation in our world today. We bring to you anyone whom we find hard to forgive or trust. We bring ourselves to you that we might grow in generosity of spirit, clarity of mind and warmth of affection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we are privileged to have our first baptism since the pandemic and so we pray for the baby and her family. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonder of children and the gift of new life. We give thanks for this child who you love and sustain with your all-powerful hand. As Jesus knew love and discipline within a human family, may this child grow in strength and wisdom. As Mary knew the joys and pains of motherhood, give these parents your sustaining grace and love. May this child know your love, your wisdom and your care. May she grow up to live a life which glorifies you and brings blessings to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your Spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know about you, but sometimes in prayer, I find trying to put into words everything that I'm worried about or grateful for difficult. When my head's in overload, the two words I can always rely on to express how I feel is simply, thank you. Here is Charity Gay with, thank you. I was rich, I remember who I was. I was lost, I was blind, I was running out of time. Sin separated 
The breach was far too wide But from the far side of the chasm You held me in your side So you made a way Across the great divide Left behind heaven's throne To build it here inside And there at the cross You paid the debt I owe Broke my chains, freed my soul For the first time I had hope Thank you Jesus for the Into glorious life You took my place Laid inside my tomb of sin You were buried for three days But then you walked right out again And now death happening this week? All our on-site services are at the usual time. Zoom evening prayer will be on Wednesday only at 6.30pm 
and this is throughout Lent. As always, contact us for a link if you'd like to join us. You may find it useful to subscribe, as each Wednesday through Lent, you can catch our YouTube shorts, Journey Towards the Cross. Also, throughout Holy Week, we will have something happening on YouTube each day. So if you haven't already hit subscribe, please do, that way you will be pinged. Thanks to Rob, Charmaine, June, Jeff and Maureen for their help this week. And most of all, to you for joining us. Let's join together to say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Our last hymn for today is Be Still My Soul. You are all in our prayers. Goodbye. Be still my soul The Lord is on thy side Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain Leave to thy God To order and provide In every change He faithful will remain Be still my soul Thy best, thy heavenly friend Through thorny Leads to a joyful end Be still my soul Thy God doth undertake To guide the future As he has the past Thy hope, thy confidence Let nothing change Still my soul, the waves and winds still know His voice who ruled them while He dwelt below In you I rest, in you I found my hope in you Joys restored